six weeks early, actually, with this early signing day, and uh, it's great to have you today. Well, thanks so much. Uh, it is. It is uh, an exciting time whenever you can add really good people into your organization and be part of your team. Uh, it's a fun time for us. Now, John, tell me a little bit about this 72-hour window. Obviously, it's new. It's new for you guys. Obviously, you, you've had a little bit more time to think about it, but how does that affect recruiting, if at all? And um, obviously, to, to tie these kids up a little early, that's got to be a good feeling. Well, it's, it's a benefit because uh, you can sign and seal them and deliver them without uh, a bigger s school swooping in and poaching them. But also, it just speeds everything up for us. Uh, so uh, we just had to have some official visit weekends in December mm -hmm. and, and be a little bit ahead of schedule with our preparation and decisions. Well, your, your recruiting obviously starts so early in the year. You know, for these kids, you were looking at these kids pretty much almost a year, year and a half behind that. But this is your full first year recruiting. What does that mean to your staff and the continuity that you had to provide to get? Obviously, hey, guys, this is our first full st uh, bunch of kids that we're bringing in. How much has that changed for your staff? Has there been any, any adjustment for you there? Well, it's just the, the full year process. We start with the junior days in, in February, and then we try to get kids to camp so we can see them live, uh, and then that gives us a lot of information. And then you get, then you get into the summer camps, uh, and then also too, uh, they're just staying with these kids through the fall and, and trying to get the ones to to commit, and then. It just speeds everything up in December. So uh, for everybody out there listening and, and obviously so excited about this day for Lafayette College football, uh, these kids are a lot of kids you've been on for a long time. You've had a lot of film on them. You've done a lot of dialogue with them and their parents. You've had them here to campus, uh, and that's got to be a good feeling to finally lock them up. And as we get here, we'll, we'll start to get into some of these kids. Let, let's roll some tape on a couple of kids. Let's start here, if we can, with uh, Troy Fisher. Uh, Troy, and, and I got a chance to look at Troy. Troy is out of uh, Pittsburgh Central Catholic, Cranberry uh, Township. I mean, he's everything I think you talked about at being in a quarterback. Well, we really like uh, Troy. He's a three-year starter. He's thrown for over 4,500 yards and, and uh, nearly 60 touchdowns and uh, just a lot of production at a really, really good high school program. And uh, uh, he's got great competitiveness, he's got natural leadership skills, and we're really glad to have him. Well, that's actually what I wrote down. I said he, he's, a, he's a leader on the field. He can make all the throws, good pro, uh, pocket presence. Obviously, he's got two hands on the ball. He knows how to climb the pocket. He knows when to bail. Uh, uh, these are all things, and again, extending plays with his legs. So he can do things, I think, with his legs that you're looking for. Well, he's got great size, got good arm strength. He exhibited accuracy long and short, uh, and uh, was able to change his his arm positioning when pressured and slide in the pocket, but also scramble as well. So uh, he is a versatile guy, and uh, we're really glad to have him. Yeah, make again, makes all the throws here. And I just like, again, the presence about him, the fact that he's a uh, been starting for this team along. Look at him get away there with his legs and then bring the ball back up. Tucks it, brings it back mm -hmm. up. All the things that you look for and can make plays with his legs. He's very impressive. And this is big-time football out in Pittsburgh. It really is. And, you know, he, he was he – was, uh, Verbally committed early to a bigger school, and then things changed, and then uh, well, we got right involved in it, and uh, he came to camp for us. And uh, uh, he, when he came to our campus, uh -huh. uh, he, wasn't, he was just trying to find out about Lafayette, and uh, he decided on the spot to go compete because we wanted to see him throw alive, and he did it, and that meant a lot to us that it was that important to uh, show us what he could do, and he was very impressive. Yeah, and, and uh, what I look at is obviously the leadership skills that he has. Uh, and, and the first thing, again, I wrote down was he has everything you told me last year when we talked about quarterbacks and what you were looking at. He has all of that from obviously being a good student, being a good quarterback, a, a full football IQ. He has all of the things that you're looking for. Well, we always talk about the quarterback being the ambassador of the program, and uh, he is that guy. Like I said, he's got natural leadership skills, and uh, uh, he sort of grabs the bull by the horns uh, with that team at, at Central Catholic, and uh, he's proven to be a great leader with great production. So he's going to be a great addition to our class. Absolutely competitive. And let's move right into Ian Grayson. Ian Grayson is a big defensive line. What I noticed, John, is – uh, you have four D linemen, one defensive end, or four D linemen, one offensive lineman. So there was some, some thought to, to bringing some kids in, and I lo what I love about Ian is the athletic ability, and he's physical at the point of attack. Well, he's a great addition to our class. We had to uh, uh, just retool the defensive line with some graduating seniors, and we got a good combination of uh, defensive end and interior guys, and, 
And Ian is one of those interior guys that plays with great leverage, mm -hmm. uh, really good strength. He's powerful. He's explosive. He knocks them back. Uh, he's able to accelerate off blocks. And he, and he just plays the right way with a high, high motor and energy. And uh, uh, when he came here to camp, he, ex he exhibited all those yeah. things I just talked about. And what we want is is guys that affect the quarterback. And right. you can affect the quarterback from the defensive line position. Uh, and so we're really excited about him and the rest of the D-linemen that we have in this class. Yeah, some of the things I noticed about Ian there is the way he collapses the pocket. And a lot of defensive linemen, they play well with their pads, but they don't play with their hands. But I see great extension. Mm -hmm. And then I see a thing that I always look for for D-linemen is the ability to get off of blocks violently. See how, I mean, again, ripping off of blocks, extension there. And obviously, like you said, plays all the tools. Look at that low right there, gets off of blocks. I mean, well, he, he is, he is a, uh, plays with great leverage. He's powerful. He's compact. Uh, he accelerates off blocks. Two feet on the ground, two hands on the block, and he's able to shed and pursue down the line to make plays. Yeah, and one last thing I noticed about him, too, is he diagnoses plays very well. I mean, that's not an easy thing to do no. from a D lineman standpoint. Get the extension, find the ball, and obviously mm -hmm. recognize down blocks, fold blocks, things like that. You know, Ian's a kid. That's a great get. And, again, a high school with Don Bosco that plays the highest level of football in Yeah, in exactly right. It's important for us to be in the footprint, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and also at big schools. Yeah, absolutely. And and another kid here, Malik Ham. Let's talk about Malik Ham a little bit. City College, Baltimore, Maryland. Again, the athleticism of these defensive linemen. Some of them, I think, can play on their feet. you got to love Malik here, number 55. Just watch him the way he gets out of his stance. Great get off. He really is. He's, he's got initial quickness, upfield burst. Uh, he's got great snap in his hips. He can turn the corner as an outside rusher. Uh, he does a great job of swatting the punch down of the offensive lineman, and he's got great acceleration off of the block into the quarterback. He's really a disruptive guy, and it, it's, a, it's a great story because he comes from that part of Baltimore, and he's doing – He's doing a great job in the baccalaureate uh, program, so academically he's a guy that's impressive as well. Yeah, and he looks like a guy, you know, I know in, in, uh, in Coach Thompson's defense, he likes sometimes to drop those defensive ends and things like that. And, but it looks like Malik may be an interior guy for you or maybe a guy on the edge. Well, that's the great thing about him is that <laughs> we believe that he can be versatile. Sure. Uh, there, there's evidence on tape of being, him being disruptive as a three technique. Yep and penetrating and getting in the backfield, but also enough speed and skill and flexibility to rush as an outside rusher. Yeah, and that's what's exciting about that. When you look, defensive line's got to be the hardest position to recruit for, obviously. Um, you know, to find a kid that's got size, speed, explosiveness, can get to the football, sometimes those kids get stolen from you at the top level, so it's hard. That's a really difficult position to uh, recruit, isn't it? It is, because they're few and far between. That and offensive linemen because of the size requirements. Right. And uh, we feel really good about about uh, uh, Malik, uh, we feel like our staff did a really good job of recruiting that area and that school. And I always say to the guys, we're in the business of finding players, not eliminating them. So yeah. let's turn over every rock and find these kids. And, and our staff did a great job of getting Malik. Okay, let's move on here. We have Colin Holbrick. Colin's a def another defensive lineman, 6'3", 250. The Haverford School, really uh, down, right down here, plays with a lot of passion and aggression. Well, again, right in our footprint, a really good school, a profile school for Lafayette College. This guy loves football. He plays with a great motor. Uh, he's versatile, too. He can play inside or outside. He's powerful enough to be on an edge as a three technique and disrupt uh, in the backfield one-on-one -on -one versus a guard, but also have some speed in nickel situations to yep. play to rush outside. Yep. Plays with great energy and, and effort and really like his toughness. Uh, Really a great kid. Three very, very nice interior line. Let's move on to Zadok Scott here. I hope I'm saying that correctly. You are. You have him listed as a tight end, 6'4", 220 pounds, at a Wyoming seminary, obviously a school that's fed us for a long time, but this kid is a big body. Yeah, he is. He, he, he's taken a uh, prep school year at Wyoming Sem. He's actually from All States down in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, it's a school that uh, myself and others on our staff are familiar with from uh, recruiting history. And it's a school that generates uh, really good student athletes. And this kid is a unique kid. He's long. He can run. Uh, we feel like he has some exceptional receiving skill. And at the tight end position, he can be a mismatch uh, uh, 
uh, nightmare for the defense. Yeah, and I see that mismatch coming upfield and down in the red zone. You lose uh, Dylan Wadsworth, mm -hmm. obviously, but he get, he has a little bit of reminding me a little bit of To right there. The way he moves and the strength in the lower body. We got to move on here. Let's go to Billy Schaefer. Billy, another defensive end slash tight end, six four two twenty out of Archbishop Wood. Another school, just an amazing, amazing football school. Well, again, a great program. Uh, and this kid, probably more than a lot that I've seen, plays with great technique. There is evidence of coaching from him, the way he uses his hands. Two hands on the block, two feet on the ground, shed, playing through the blocks, key and diagnose, plays with a great motor. Uh, and uh, we really feel good about wow. him. He's got, he's got a great lower body, and he's just going to get bigger and stronger, and he's been really disruptive for Archbishop Wood. Absolutely. I look at a guy like Bo Bosch. Can he be like a guy like that, a guy that can come off the edge and rush for you? We're going to keep moving here, John. We have limited time here. Steven Stan is that my saying? Stilianos. Stilianos at a Christchurch uh, school. Hayes, Virginia, down in your old stomping grounds yeah, right there. Big that's kid. right. Uh, he is a big kid. He's versatile. He had to play a little quarterback for his school, but uh, we protect, uh, project him as a tight end, okay. uh, as, a, as a Y that's on the line, could put his hand down in the dirt, but also, uh, you know, plant and cut and receive as a big body. So he's got a lot of versatility. This kid is like Renaissance man. He is a <laughs> soloist in the choir. Wow. All right, he sang the national anthem when he was 10 years old at a, at a high school game. My and goodness. right now he's currently on a flight to Senegal on a missions trip. Wow. constructing solar panels to provide energy for a village out there. So, so this kid is a consummate Lafayette kid. He's got great physical potential, and uh, we use tight ends, and he is going to be a guy that uh, we really think is a great project to work with. It's going to be a nice project to work with. Our last guy here, Ben Wild, an offensive lineman. Ben, I wrote down just an immense human being, six foot six. 305, our last guy. Yeah, he, he's, uh, he's a kid that took uh, an extra year at the Hunt School. He's big and powerful. Uh, he's going to probably play guard for us. Got wide shoulders, great strength, really good hand placement and punch. Uh, and he was dominant at the Hunt School, and we're really glad to have him. John, that is a quick wrap-up of the early signing period. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. We're going to get back into this in February again. We'll go through all the guys again, but a quick look. I tell you what, that is a heck of a start for the Lafayette College football program. Thank you very much. We're excited, and go Leopards. Absolutely.